hello everyone welcome to another video on alpha web tips in this video i'm going to show you how you can redirect your wordpress page to another page without using a plugin i mean how you can redirect maybe the, your about page to your maybe to another page on your website without using any plugin uh, you can also use it to redirect your 404 page if you don't have a custom 404 you can, you can redirect it to another page without using any plugin you can redirect a post to another post without using any plugin i still remain your friend that will be so without further ado let's get started so before you can do anything in your wordpress you need to log in to your wordpress dashboard which I'll be doing right here. Okay. So I'm in my WordPress dashboard now. Now, before you can accomplish this, before you can redirect your, your WordPress page to another page, if you are a total newbie or if you don't know, if you are not an advanced WordPress designer or if you are not a WordPress developer, to do this, you need you need either a code snippet plugin or a shared team. You need to make use of a shared team on your website or a code snippet plugin. A code snippet plugin is what you use to add whatever code you have to your website. So without without adding it to the parent team, to the actual team you are using. Because if you don't use a shared team and a code snippet plugin, if you add any functions to your functions, the PHP file team you are using, whenever that theme is updated, you are going to lose all the changes you have made. That is why it is recommended you use a shared team or a code snippet plugin to add any code to your WordPress website. Now when you have a shared team or a code snippet plugin ready, you are, you are free to go. And the other thing you need is you need to get the ID of that particular post or page you want to redirect from the post or page you want to redirect from you need to get the id and then how do you get the id i'm going to explain to you also in a few seconds from now now if you want to make use of a shared team and you don't already have a shared team on your website you can just check the description or the active the content below this video there's a plugin called generate shared team by catch plugin i already have a link there where you can download the thing and when you download the thing you can use it on your wordpress site to generate the shared team of the particular team you're using then when you generate the shared team make sure you activate the shared team and then when that is activated go to your plugin section and uninstall and delete the shared team generate plugin right in store right there's no need to have useless plugins on your website and then when that is done and you want to get the id of a particular okay let's say you want to get the id of this about page you need to click on edit when you click on edit the web page and then in your browser here in your page browser you see a string of number it can be one or it can be two three four numbers so those numbers are your page or post id you need to take note of them and here we have 1232 1232 is the id of this about page and now when you have that ready you go to your appearance and then you go to the team file editor now we want to redirect this about page to the home page or we can redirect it to maybe a login page for you to see a clear to clear so when you go to your team file editor and since you already activated a shared team you just click on this file theme functions part when you click on it and yours will be clear but you are seeing this code now because i already added some functions some php functions and php code to the shared team of this particular team right so you can scroll down to the last section 
then you can paste the code you copied earlier the code that is in part of this article and you can get it to my gist github page so when you paste the code you want to you want to make use of template redirect and then the function is the name of the function is redirect to page the name of the function can be anything okay and then you want to use that if statement if is page then you include the page id then you want to redirect to this particular url and then you exit okay then when you want to add action when you want to add um, another functions to your wordpress function that's page file you need to add action so you need to initiate which is the template redirect okay this is a custom by wordpress you know template redirect and then you need to have the name of the function you just created which is redirect to page this name must match the name you have here if it does not match your code will not run or your site may even you may see some kind of breakdown on your website maybe there's a particular error or there's a critical error on your website all right now that we have the page id which is 1232 we input the page id here 1232 and then we want to redirect to the login page and since we are using the site url Go back function now just give forward slash login and then the login page is just mexicanacademy.com slash login right so you don't need to have uh, everything in full since you are directing it to the exact website it's still a page on your website you do it like that and then you click on update file now that the file updating is successful let's see let's see if we'll be able to redirect the about page to the login page now that is loaded i want to redirect this about page to the login page if you click on it it should go to the login page and you can see it came to the login page it's as simple as that it is as simple as that all right maybe later you want to redirect your 404 to another page you can see instead of his page it will be is 404 as 404 back function okay it's 404 then the url of the page you are redirecting it to and you save it's as simple as that it is as simple as that so you have this code in the body of this article and the link to get the code to my github gist account is there just click on it and get the code so you can use whenever and however you feel like on your website so that's it guys that's simply how to redirect your wordpress page to another page without using any plugin all right guys i'll see you in another topic in another video bye bye